old gatekeeper here. I am here with uh, Miss Minion. Hmm. She's holding the recorder for me. Anyway, kind of killing two birds with one stone. I need to remove these Toshibas out of this Texas Star 500 to see if they are good. And if they are, we're going to be using them in a build. And also, I had a customer of mine that bought some HGs that's never installed transistors or removed them before. So I'm just going to show him me removing these. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, out of all the amps I've ever removed transistors out of, these are the hardest. And I'll tell you why they're the hardest. Because when these were soldered in, the solder goes directly up to the base of the pill. So you have solder that goes directly into each lead almost all the way up to the base of the pill. When you got solder that goes all the way in like that, it's hard to just take your pick. This is about the only thing I ever use, a little dental style pick. It is hard to heat that thing up and lift it up all the way because even when you do it, there's still a little bit of solder up on there. So many way, many people do this different ways first first thing you need to remove all your screws i mean that's pretty much common sense but i just pretty much go around trying to lift all of them up and then once i get at least three of them up then you've got it then you all got all you got to do is heat the last one up and pull the pill out don't be too rough with it and at times you may even need to use the old trusty solder sucker if somebody's been in there before and have unloaded about 10 pounds of solder in there, you may want to suck a little bit of it out. But this looks uh, still factory, so we're going to see how it goes. Sometimes I still like to put a little bit of solder on my lead before beginning. And you want to make sure you ain't hitting that relay when you're doing it. So I'm going to start off with this emitter right here. Just kind of moving mine back and forth. I got it lift up a little bit and I'm going to take my lead and just bend it up just like that and get and get in and kind of get out. You don't want to leave it on there for a while. Now, as you can see, maybe in the camera, there's still some solder on that lead. Now, I could take my solder sucker, for example, and I may get lucky and I may be able to suck all that out real quick. And I may not. All right. I sucked a good bit of it out, but not all of it. So I'm just going to continue on to each one. Usually I'll get them lifted first, then I'll see which ones I can maybe suck out. And you want to be careful to not to get the trace up. All right, got that one bent up. It's going to be a pretty easy one right there. And Texas Star, they love to use, this is an older one, so we don't have Teflon coax right here. I'm not too worried about hitting it because somebody's already hit it right here. And if I ever use this amp in the future, I will be removing this. But just go ahead and practice. Try not to let that, try to be thinking about what that iron's touching. And sometimes you'll hit something because you're so focused on trying to get these pill leads out of here. You see how I'm going up under that? Alright, so I've got all four legs on this thing. Now, if you had two hands, this would be easy to get up right now because you could have two people uh, heating up two, two of the leads at the same time. This is when I wish I had a special solder tool that had four prongs on it where I could go down and hit all four of them at the same time. Alright, this one looks pretty good right there. I'm going to try to suck that little bit of solder that's hanging right there. This is something you just got to work with. Now I'm slightly lifting up on the pill right here, not not heavily, but slightly. Now you see I've got it lifted up on one side now. All right. Now all I got to do is free it from these other two. I'm 
just going to push down. I've got it freed from there. One more and she's out. Just very easily. It's pretty good to go ahead and have you some a paper towel or something to go ahead and lay it on, which I ain't ready for that right here. So I'll usually just try to lay them upside down. That's one go, three to go. But anyway, hopefully that helped you. I ain't gonna sit here and make you sit here and watch me do all of them. But removing these transistors out of a homebrew style copper plane board amplifier, you know, like a Fat Boy or X Force or a Gatekeeper, you know, something homebrew is ten times easier to remove the pills because we all usually take certain precautions to make it a little bit easier to remove. Hope this helps. Gatekeeper's gone. Bye bye.